need no flow. High fashion, I go, yeah. G wagon, or the rover. I put some ice on you, cause you got it cold. I know I gotta keep my daughter strong, go, go. Got the ass to the flow. What's up, queens and the kings who love us? This is your girl, Candy. Y'all, y'all on Queen Game TV. What's going on? What's happening? Hey, yeah, I'm here, y'all. I got a nice little video, y'all, and we're going to talk about a type of awareness that all of us need to be concerned about. And yes, welcome to another busy. Yo, I'm a little rusty. Y'all already know coming at y'all live April 4th, 2024 in Atlanta, Georgia, baby. That is right. So, y'all, it's ironic that I am at the doctor's office. Before we get into that, we want to let y'all know we care, we love y'all. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Look, we do mukbangs. Yes, indeed, we do us a little bit of eating, as you can see. All right, y'all. We have our topics and conversations, you guys. And we definitely do our vlogging. So it's a nice little lifestyle channel. And we try to do everything, not everything, but a lot of things, a variety of things where you walk it, you look forward to. So enough of that, though. It's ironic that I'm at my doctor's office all because it is very important, you guys, that you get yourselves checked out, you get yourselves looked at, and you know everything that's going on with your body. As a lot of us know in Atlanta, and a lot of us don't know, that Atlanta ranked number three, always was the highest in HIV cases. And so sadly, half or more than half those HIV cases um, are pretty much an African-American thing. It's so hard to say because it's true. More than half of those cases are mostly African-American. And y'all, I'm going to keep it gutter, though, and I'm going to keep it real. And shout out to my boy, uh, Walter Lee Hampton III. He brought this to light, which something I've always been on top of anyway. But I felt like I had to piggyback and have his back on this because as African-Americans, we have to stop dating and making them see as though... No, we need to stop having sexual relationships and making them seem as they are dating relationships in which they are not. The minute someone brings up sex or the conversation, the topic of sex comes up, that's when you need to care about yourself enough and the person to get tested. Even before that conversation comes up as an individual, you have to get tested. You have to start going to these free clinics. They have hundreds of free clinics here in Atlanta. And I don't know wherever else, but we're speaking in Atlanta. We have to stop being um, delusional about things. We have to stop. Excuse my hair. Y'all has been windy. You know, we had a little slight little um, tornado come through. And the aftermath is tremendous. And I've been out and about. And girl, this hair is, is yeah, but it's okay. Don't worry about the hair. Worry about the message, okay? But we, we really have to take advantage of these free clinics and start getting tested. Especially if we're sexually active or, and I'm not judging if we are drug users. Before we lose our mind on these drugs and we get highs and kite and we forget where we at and we not in our right state of mind, before you get out of your right state of mind, make sure whatever needles you're using, they're your needles, they're clean needles. If you shoot up, stop sharing needles. People aren't going to tell you what they have going on. That's facts. They're only concerned about their benefit and how they're benefiting from the situation. That's it. Whether it's drugs or sex. We have to start loving ourselves and care about ourselves enough to know that we need to stay tested and keep getting tested. I don't care if you're married. Those old days are over with. Married men is living double lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of gay married men out here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of straight, whorish, hoish men out here. They not testify with just their wife. 
and they bring all types of stuff home to their wife. And as a wife, husband, or however you identify as LGBTQ or straight, or, or, or bisexual, or non-binary, whatever the case may be, you need to worry about you and get tested regardless. You need to know what you're doing at all times because at the end of the day, you don't know what the next person is doing. Regardless if you're married or in a committed relationship, whatever you call yourself doing. But the most part, if especially if we're having casual sex, we, we're not and we're in a relationship, we're not committed, but we're having casual sex, we're having hookups, sneaky links, whatever. Be smart and, and, and start wearing condoms. We don't even want to spend two, three dollars for a box of condoms, five dollars, six dollars, whatever the case may be for condoms. We don't want to do that. We don't want to be protected anymore. We don't even want to look into taking prep anymore. You have solutions out here. We don't we don't ask a question back back to what I was saying before and if I got into all this. When the topic of sex comes up in you all's relationship, whether you call it dating or whatever, ask to go to the clinic and get tested together. Because you can't even trust these guys' papers. They're going to have to make false paper like they make false money. Start asking to go to the clinic to get tested together so you all will both know together. And if that person don't want to get tested or don't want to show you proof, then there's a problem. I'm going to sleep with them. We all need to stop being so compelled to how fine a person is and how hot and bothered we is about wanting to have sex. We're so... Our hormones are so... We're so... Oh, we so... Oh, oh, we so... You know what I'm talking about. You know, I can't say as much as I would like to say, though, because of the guidelines of YouTube. But you know what I'm talking about. He nine. He putting nine... He, wait, he fine. He putting nine in my spine. Fine and put nine in my spine. You feel me? We we got to stop being so concentrated on 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 the the conclusion and being in the act of or just wanting to feel loved and, and want to be up close and personal with a person. We gotta stop that. Stop stop being so caught up and start thinking logically. Especially if you a fellow or or a lady, see yourself being with that person. Especially if you don't see yourself being in a committed relationship. Especially if you don't see yourself not being a cheater. Be real with yourself and put on a condom. But the person on the other side, people don't care about you. People are not, it's not going to care about you at all. Your health and welfare, others will not care about only but you. You have to care about your health and welfare. You have to start asking the questions and demanding that you all both go and get tested together. And again, and if they don't want to do that, baby, it's your sign out to sleep with them. They could be clean and offended, but who who's the no? You don't know that. Why take a chance? Because they're so fine. And you're strongly compelled to, to sleep with that person. It's just crazy. So, yeah, Georgia has the highest among the HIV cases, the highest among STDs, but HIV is, is one of the highest, third in the country out of the big metropolitan cities. And that's and, and, and what's really overriding our situation, who's concluding all of this is, is the most people that is contracting all of this is, is African Americans because we are not doing our due diligence to be prepared and keeping ourselves safe we are in a delusional mentality that it cannot happen to us you cannot tell a person has AIDS or HIV by looking at them half the time because they don't know that they don't have it because they're living with it and they haven't been checked out start making it a thing Take having your first date being getting checked out if you guys are in, not into dating you just have a sexual relationship i don't care y'all need to go 
make it your first little hookup to the to the uh what you <laughs> to the HIV clinic. This is ridiculous and it's sad, and you guys don't believe in protection either. And for those who come from small towns, think you can come down to Atlanta in these big cities, think you can be a hoe and get away with it like you did in your small town. <laughs> Baby, you will be sadly mistaken. You'll be caught up so quick as you blink. You'll be caught up. Yeah, come down here happy, doing your thing, baby. You know, twerking and, 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 and populating and twerking or whatever. Having a good time. Somebody come get her and she's dancing like a stripper. Yeah, you having a good old gay old time. But come back home either being buried or barely recognizable by your friends and family because you know contract is something that you can't get rid of i've been here since 97 almost three decades of my life and there is a lot of sex going on between straight lgbtq and bisexual every it's like don't nobody want to be committed and it's a lot of sexual in the windows going on. There's a lot. And this is what, lastly, and I'm gonna conclude this video, a lot of people don't wanna do this anymore. People don't wanna be celibate. Celibacy will give you a third eye to what people is all about and what they are wanting from you and what they only want from you. And it help you dismiss a lot of people who means you no good and it help you think clearly your mental will be wide open you can smell fraud from a mile away when it comes to people just want you for your body and want to use you for your body and just lying you'll be open enough within yourself and loving yourself more to even just ask the question let's go to the clinic let's get checked out even though you're not planning on having sex but that's something you want to know if you and this person is getting serious too. And being upfront about your status as far as, oh, well, I'm celibate. I'm not trying to have sex. And you'll see so fast how they'll flee. Being celibate will get rid of so many problems in your life when it comes to STDs, relationship problems, people lying on you, cheating on you, hitting on you, misusing you, mistreating you, all of that. It will run people away. That's a good thing. Don't be mad because they ran, ran away. That mean that person wasn't for you. The right person to come to you that will understand why you're doing it. And you have to pray for that person to come into your life. And make sure that that person is the perfect person for you. But yeah, guys, the ATL is number three. Very high on the AIDS list. HIV, excuse me, and AIDS uh, diagnosis. And that's a true fact. It's always been one of the highest for a long long time and the southeast has a big problem with this situation and again it's not a gay man's problem it's not a straight man's problem at the end of the day when it comes to racial st statistics it's an african-american problem and we have to address that we need to address ourselves be accountable for our actions our thoughts and how we carry out what we do when it comes to other people be for real get tested and I'm going to keep on saying this. Get tested. Especially if you're sexually active and if you are a, a active drug user that you uh, shoot up. Be real. Before we lose our mind or whatever high, we need to take the right precautions to keep ourselves protected. It's not worrying about the conclusion of things. The benefit. How we going to feel when we get it. So don't sit up here and and, 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 and judge a drug user that's shooting up or whatever. And some of you have sexual addictions as well. You do. Some of you guys can live with, 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 without someone in your life for four months. So you're just as bad as someone that needs that drug. You know what I'm talking about? It's the same thing. So before you judge another person, look at yourself though, because you too could be looked at as a as a sex addict. Whereas you got to be in a relationship. You can't stand being alone. 
celibacy is 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 a no go, no bueno. And then when you call yourself being celibate, you're still finding ways to be sexually satisfied. So you know there's an issue with that there. And granted, that's yeah, you're used to having sex and you're used to having that feeling, so you feel like you're missing out on something. No, but the headaches and, and, and stuff that come with it though. You know, you gotta think about that. All right, you guys, queens and the kings who love us though. I might keep on talking about this, y'all. Let's talk about sex, baby. Yeah, let's talk about you and me. Yeah, I might go through a little series of it. And again, stay protected. Be in your right state of mind. Don't be clouded. Let's have great judgment and let's do better with our choices when it comes to sex. It's out, it's over, and it's done. Queen is in the building, y'all. On her way to the doctor's baby. I ain't trying to be late, y'all. I'm out of here, y'all. Zeus says.